So, another day passes, and another instance of NVIDIA shooting us out in the foot for no good reason. This time is... it's just so dumb that I just had to make a video about it. Basically, NVIDIA banned the YouTuber Hardware Unboxed from receiving review samples of Founders Edition cards. Now, you'd think that with a sentence that harsh, you'd imagine that he completely bashed NVIDIA's RTX 3000 cards and threatened to burn down a HQ with just the pure thermal output of an RTX 3090. But no, the reason for this ban is that he focused too much on rasterization rather than ray tracing in his reviews of RTX 3000 cards. Yeah, if that's confusing to you too, good, because it's supposed to be, that means you're normal, congratulations. And this is such a dumb decision from Nvidia that I just don't know where to start. Especially since again, he wasn't like super negative about these cards or anything, he liked them. But once again, he just focused on both rasterization and ray tracing performance. Because while well, rasterization is still important, you know, with still only a handful of games actually supporting ray tracing, and an even smaller handful of games that support ray tracing that people actually care about. Now, you'd think that they do it because of the threat from AMD and the recently released RX 6000 graphics cards, which had, you know, less than ideal ray tracing performance. It's a perfect opportunity for NVIDIA to show, look, our cards are so much better at ray tracing than AMD's cards. And, you know, that is kind of understandable, but still, banning a guy from reviewing your cards just because of that is just not a way to handle it at all. And what makes it even more confusing is that NVIDIA is in such a great position already. People are absolutely loving RTX 3000 graphics cards for good reason. They're absolutely amazing. They've just been flying up store shelves. If they were more desperate and if AMD was posing even more of a threat, then this would be somewhat more understandable. But right now, when they are already super ahead and people are buying the graphics cards not just for ray tracing but also in normal rasterization performance, then it literally just makes no sense at all and just makes them look more like a bad guy when they already have such a strong position in the market right now. Ampere is absolutely amazing, they are riding high on an Ampere wave even if not many people can actually buy them. But still, why on earth would you try to sabotage that by doing something so petty? Oh, and what makes it even better is the fact that they're still even displaying quotes from him on their website about how great their graphics cards are despite them, you know, axing him because he dared to focus too much on rasterization. Now, not many details have been also released about how much of that has been, you know, very clearly written in a contract between them or anything. And if Hardware Unbox did receive a contract that very clearly stated that he should have this many benchmarks of ray traced games, or like maybe a certain ratio of ray traced to rasterized games, and if he like, you know, knowingly or unknowingly broke the contract then <laughs> that is more understandable even if it is a super dumb and damaging to nvidia clause in the contract so i'm definitely not defending nvidia here saying you know oh he broke the contract or whatever because it's such such a dumb part of the contract that it honestly <laughs> that honestly I would be tempted to break myself and I, if I was in their position, if I'm honest. So yeah, NVIDIA really shot themselves in the foot there for no good reason. And I just don't understand what the reasoning behind all of this could have been. It's just so petty, it's just whatever. Let me know what you think of the situation down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what all of you think. And hey, while you're still here, also check out my channel's Patreon, because even one dollar month goes a long way in helping my channel. And also, I'd love to find my patrons, Gavin Burns, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. Down is also our Amazon Associates links, because if you use them, we get some money. You don't pay anything extra, it's a win-win. I probably had a link to some solid power supplies that will be able to run an RTX 3000 graphics card. Down there's also our Discord if you want to talk to me as about this or whatever else really. Then join that as well, it's really awesome. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in what I'm like next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.